Does anybody want to guess what cartoon character it is just based off the color palette I'm choosing? It is not a cartoon I, I ever mentioned really at all, but it's one um, from a certain section of cartoonage. You're making Arthur Morgan. Yeah, right. Uh, Becky, hello. Chris Pratt will be playing Mario. Yes, I know. We all know. You would not like to guess. Nobody wants to guess. What era is it from? I'm not giving you any hints. Zero hints. It is not Darkwing Duck. I'm just going to go for it. And I could make multiple, you know. Brian, you're copying me. Am I? Am I, though? This one's looking good. All right, let's see. Darkwing Duck is goaded. Yes, I agree. Keep it moving. Looks like bluey colors. Bluey isn't orange. Hello? You know, and it's not Perry the Platypus, so I never actually watched Phineas and Ferb. Fun fact. That was beyond my era of, uh, of cartoons, unfortunately. Steve from Blue's Clues, please. Oh, Blue's Clues I loved, man. I, I think that's something, like cartoons I never really get a chance to talk to, talk talk about on stream, actually, or, or in videos in general. I just never really give it a chance. Obviously, I love cartoons in all different types. Like, um, Nickelodeon was mostly for me, but, you know, Cartoon Network, of course. Wasn't ever a Disney fan in any way, but that's fine. Uh, exclamation mark Minecraft in order to join. So we concluded at a level two hype train. Thank you, everybody. That means that everybody is going to get 200 Bob bucks. Boom. There we go. So now I added 200 Bob bucks to 75 people. Look at that. Nice. So all you lurking freeloaders in the chat can type exclamation mark ticket max in order to get some more tickets into the PlayStation 5 giveaway exclamation mark contest for more info on that. That will be uh, held on December 2nd. Friends, family, colleagues or otherwise are all able to join into the giveaway. Also the freeloaders, they're very uh, welcome to join. Exclamation mark ticket space max, just like soft scoot, soft scoot, scooty, scooty, goody, 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 soft scoot, soft shoe Scott did right there, just like, just like that, just like that. You watch Rocco's Modern Life and you're an OG Nickelodeon fan. I did watch Rocco's Modern Life, very, uh, very freaky, but still cool. It was one of those cartoons I definitely got scared watching. But like I said, is kind of the point, you know? So I'm going to kind of do this, but then mold it afterward. You know, and I wasn't a Gravity Falls fan either. I know that's a very, very popular cartoon with a very specific subset of fans of that franchise. I just just never a fan of it, man. Never a fan of Gravity Falls. Couldn't get into that or Adventure Time or anything like that. Just wasn't my jam. Beyond me, you know. Love Gravity Falls. I mean, you know. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this. I can never get into Adventure Time. Adventure Time is one of those, Steve. It's like... You're either super hardcore into Hot it, pockets. or you're just, like, not vibing with it at all. Uh, we're going to do this. Pokemon Counts as a cartoon. Yes, Pokemon Counts as a cartoon. Let me see if I can get some... For flesh tones, you have to go into... Terracotta, it seems like. Owl House is one of my daughter's favorites. Uh, watch him like that, too. DDD, get out of my laboratory! Yes! DD, I should say. DD, get out of my laboratory! 
Alex got it. There you go. Nice job. Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. There we go. Nice job, Alex. You know what you get? You get nothing! But good job. I have vague memories of watching Dexter's Laboratory, admittedly. I was more of a fan of Kids Next Door. That was the one that I liked the most out of any of those like Cartoon Network shows. Uh, that, my absolute favorite, my absolute favorite was Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. That was, that was a cartoon, and I, I believe they're bringing it back as a remaster. But that is one of those shows that I think did not get the amount of uh, love it should have in any way. And it is awesome. I love the concept of the show because, you know, once you are old enough to not have... Uh, once you're old enough to not have imaginary friends anymore, where do they go? They go up for adoption, and then the next generation... Uh, of kids ends up taking them on. It's pretty, pretty, pretty solid idea for a show, in my opinion. I, I always love that one. So, but it, it got canceled. It got you know whatever. So I believe they are bringing it back as a remastered sort of a situation, which is really, really cool. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna try to get the coat, the angle of the, uh, the shoulder here. The f it's going to come out really bad, by the way. I'm just saying. Father was my favorite villain on Kids Next Door. You know, no, it's been so long since I've watched the show. I got to go back at some point in my incredibly busy life making quadrillion dollar deals that I should uh, go back and watch the show at some point. But we'll see. Yeah, this is going to be tough to do. Like, so, so the image I'm using here, I'll just I'll share it on screen now that I uh, now that I got it. What about Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Oh, that was another great one, Ed. That one my grandparents didn't like me watching because it was too, too spicy. It was too spicy for whatever reason. They just were not vibing with it at all. But I liked Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, which was... It was at, like, mid... Obviously, the mid-2000s era for, um... For cartoons was more my jam, of course, but... Gonna do this actually. I get the curvatures around here, but how you doing, Ed? I order more plastic sleeves for the prints this morning at 9 a.m. on Amazon. Just delivered 20 minutes ago. What's going on, Kevin? I'm gonna be at uh, Rhode Island Comic Con with Mr. Hinkle Draws, man. If you happen to be in the Providence, Rhode Island area, come Hot out and pockets. say hi. Come on and hang out with uh, Mr. Kevin Hinkle. We can't be blocking. Can't be blocking the hot pockets here. Hold on. Can't be. Can't be blocking the pocket. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm going to be there with Kevin all weekend long. I'm going to be at the convention. Going to be helping him run his booth so that way he can do his thing. Uh, let's see. The head should probably be like that. Maybe one more. Ear maybe comes out toward here. There we go. So yeah, if you wanna you wanna come by and say hi to Kevin and I, we're gonna be there all weekend, man. Kinda looks like an elf ear, don't want that. Not at all. Maybe like that, sure. Ball pockets have an order. Can't wait to see them. Gotta be hot <laughs> pocket. Yes indeed. If you want to get your limited edition Bob Pocket sticker available on Kevin's website and his website only. Exclamation mark hot get yours while they last if you can get me a stock number kevin i think we were at 27 yesterday i don't know if we're still at 27 today but we shall see what cartoon or tv show scared you as a kid that really shouldn't have Cour courage the cowardly dog of course you know what really terrified me there was a, a spongebob episode where they show i forget what episode specifically it is but it's when they do a close-up of a real-life bug during the episode, and it shows like it's like like that kind of shock cut to the actual bug. For so, it terrified me, uh, terrified me because it's the last thing you expect 
Wormy, the Wormy episode? That's probably it, yeah. Absolutely terrified me. The butterfly episode, right? Yeah. It was that one. It just, it scared the living daylights out of me, man. And I mean, I guess rightfully so, because so many other people right now are like, oh yeah, it scared me too, but, you know, still. So should it be that tall? Uh, no, his... His ear should go to here. Okay, we're going to trim this. It's probably proportionally right. We're going to do this. So the weird thing is that he's kind of built at an angle in this, uh, this particular shot. Actually, that might look kind of right, actually. Uh, Floral, hello. OMG Dexter, yes, yeah, see? Dexter's uh, lab, because we're all building cartoon characters here on the Minecraft server. If you play Minecraft, you're more than welcome to join. Exclamation mark, Minecraft. My server is available to anybody who wants to participate. It is a family-friendly Minecraft server. We have a creative building section, which we are all using right now. We also have a survival section. And with continued support over on Patreon.com slash Brian Saviano, we are doing mini games eventually as well. Um, that I have not had as much info on, mostly because it takes a long time to do that stuff. So uh, we shall see how things progress here. The eyes are going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Or maybe not, actually. We'll see. Uh, too old for most of these cartoons. I know they have a, um, seen them, but it was deep into the teen years. Yeah. But now more so, John, there's been a resurgence for cartoons, especially being like teenagers and whatnot. More teenagers are getting into cartoons now than, uh, really ever before, which is kind of, kind of awesome in its own way, you know? That's funny, it. Eh? Nostalgia hits hard? Yeah, it does. Well, there's more teenagers, I think, watching cartoons as teenagers rather than just, you know, getting over it as they were, um, you know, turning into teenagers. Like, I, I actually struggled super hard. I'm like, how, how am I going to know what to watch when I get older? Because I enjoyed cartoons. And I'm like, what programs am I going to find that are interesting as I get older to being a teenager or whatnot, right? And one of those programs I actually really liked as a um, as a teenager that helped me kind of transition off of cartoons, I guess, was uh, Dirty Jobs, actually. Oddly enough, like a show like that, it being very, like, informational, but, like, I always thought adult shows were always super boring, <clears throat> Like, I didn't realize they could be entertaining. I just thought all the adult stuff was super boring. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't know programs for adults were meant to be entertaining. I just thought it was like MSNBC, you know? Yeah, like sitcoms is another one that like people really like. Because adult shows are totally generally boring, right? So back to getting watching any cartoons now, anime included. Well, what do you typically like to watch? It's a cartoon Minecraft episode. Go for it. Talk about whatever you want. <sighs> anime. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Like the Pixar story. Yeah, I actually really got into documentaries as well. That was one of the main things. You know, before a world where I was doing this stuff... You know, I wanted to go to film school, but I didn't want to deal with the nonsense and like the the super uppityness. I didn't want to deal with the uppityness of film school because a lot of it is like, I'm going to make this art piece that makes me feel something. And it's like, now nah, I want to make something cool. And I don't want any of the arrogance that goes along with it at a film school. Like there's a lot of that. It's my son. Whenever he's in the building challenge, we lose Brian. No, that that's not what it is. It is my connection. And what's really funny is that the other day, 
Comcast was like, hey, we're doing performance upgrades in your area. So you're going to be losing service for a while. And it's like, well, clearly I'm not. So, yeah. Um, But no, I I love cartoons. I love watching cartoons. Don't get to do it nearly as much. Uh, I don't want to dedicate the time as much. But I also feel like there's a lot more cartoons today catered toward adults, which is great. And just an older crowd in general. Okay, we're going to do this. So his head should probably only go up to there before we start the orange hair. I believe so. Still in like season four. Um. Oh, what I was mentioning before I got uh, I got cut off there was that there are series that will air on specific platforms, and they're like, okay, we're gonna play it, but then they play it at point one point. Four speed so it's just fast enough that they get an extra minute or two of commercials in but it doesn't mess up with the voices too much and i'm like that's really see i don't like that like that that is enough for me to like not watch the channel and like whatever rerun is playing that's just that's slimy i don't like that like i get you want to get more advertisements in sure but you can do it a slightly different way you know Okay, well, this should be good. So yeah, that's that's something that a lot of these sitcom networks do, daytime television, which is a lot of the reason why people don't like it. And I can't sit through a TV show and do that constantly. It's just not what I want to do. I want to be able to watch it at a normal speed, enjoy myself, give it my full attention if I can. Like I don't watch She-Hulk or any of that stuff like haphazardly. I give it my full attention. So I can stay up to date on, you know, all the, all the stuff and kind of know what's going on. Oh, I'm building right up to the top here. Jeez. Okay. Dang. All right. What's the challenge? Everybody's building their favorite cartoon characters or just cartoon characters in general. So I'm building Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory as one of mine for right now. Could be building another one. We shall see. We shall see. Um, and then exclamation mark connection. If I do happen to drop, that's because my connection is bad. I will come back online eventually. But remember, as you're watching, you are earning points to win a PlayStation 5 console that will be drawn on December 2nd at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not a moment sooner. Mark it in your calendars so you don't forget. Be here during that stream. So I built way too close to the wall. You can't get them all in one shot here. I mean, that's not a bad Dexter. I got to get the other arm. Uh, the nose actually looks pretty good. That, that looks pretty solid. That looks pretty good. You know? You're a good builder. I'm trying. It's getting there. It's getting there. I got to get the other arm over here, of course. Uh, We're going to do this. Side tangent about my mouse problem. There is a mouse that keeps trying to go underneath the outside, like this door right here, metal door, tries to scrape underneath there. I walked into my office this morning. I saw more gifts from the mice sitting on my desk. It's been great. Wonderful. And before anybody uh, tries suggesting something, yes, I've tried it. It doesn't work. Sounds like you need a snake. Floral, have a good night. Uh, let's see.
You try getting a cat? I can't have a cat in the office building. I don't believe so. That'd also be something that uh, takes up a quite more bit of responsibility than I think I have within me right now, considering how much I travel and do all sorts of other stuff. So, provided that the top would actually be in full effect, I mean, that's not awful. Uh, somebody subscribed on YouTube, cool. Well, what could be different? I mean, it looks kind of good. The glasses could use a little reshaping, I guess. Let's see. Obviously, I got time for more cartoon characters as well. Shorten the head one layer, maybe? Down here? Yeah, I could. That's kind of a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? The, um... The glasses should be up by one. Or, I'm sorry, the ear should be up by one. So that way the ear actually connects to what's going on here. Actually, that just works better, having the two layers right there. Pop up by two? Yeah, that's better. Better. You're missing the eyebrows. Yes, I am missing the eyebrows. Good call. Good call. Yes, indeed. Eyebrows are gonna go... Just like this. And no, I'm not obviously copying it verbatim. I'm copying it as uh, accurately as I can, I guess. Uh, let's see. His eyebrows look kind of weird. Oh, look how gross that looks. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, gross. Nasty. Get it out of here. Absolutely not. Gross. Yikes. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. That was not it. That ain't it, Chief. We're gonna we're gonna improvise here. Against the actual key art. Man, that's bad. You're using different outlining techniques? Yeah, I know. I'm not- Listen, I pay Kevin to make the illustrations. That's why I don't do them. That's why I don't make- That's why I don't do it. You know? We all got our ways. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. I mean, from a distance, right? It's not awful. The eyebrows look so bad. They look so awful. <laughs> He's got a Johnny Bravo chin. I mean, it was from the same era of uh, Cartoon Network, so yeah, that makes sense. I like the Homer Simpson head. That looks pretty good. And Perry is looking really good, too. Everybody's doing such a wonderful job. Look at that. So wait, how... How are there so many people on the server right now? But where's everybody building? Are all these spots taken up by P like... When's the PS5 drawing? Exclamation mark contest. Go to the website and figure it out. Put all the information on there. That's the cool part, as you can see the opposite side. Pretty swanky. That's swanky. Top of the glasses should be straight across. More space for eyebrows. No, but then straight across is just this. Even if I lower it by one layer, that doesn't free up. I got to shift everything down, you know? I think it's fine. I think it, it's going to do it's going to do its job. Just fine. I also hear mice over here, over across from me. I don't know how. I don't know where, you know? 
Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, in case people are wondering where exactly to go, if you're new around here. If you... Nope, that's not where I want to go. Hold on. Here we go. One of your best builds. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Because caps doesn't work. There we go. If you're right here, if y'all are over here, go into the creative area that you see over toward this way. Enter the creative building area. This is where you'll access the building section. I see smiley. All these people, all these people that are here, join in over on the creative area. If you want to join us in the building section and uh, build something spicy. I like this Mickey Mouse. Nice job. Okay. So let's see. We're going to make another thing while I'm here. Hmm. Hey, Alyssa. Did I have a happy Halloween? By happy Halloween, you mean I sat in my office alone? Then yes, I did. I had a Halloween party where I was uh, passed out on the floor by 10 p.m. And before all the adults start typing, before all the adults start typing, it was not because I was shaloopy doopy. It's because I was tired from the long day that I had. And I'm not exaggerating. I had a very long day. And by 10 o'clock, everybody's partying. I, I went behind my friend's couch with a pillow and my suit jacket as a as a as a blanket. Didn't get a single trick or treater, go figure. I had to work on Halloween too. Yeah, but you got you got, you got a day job. Fisher, thank you for following. Brian needs more sleep. True. That day, that, I was up coughing all night. It was a long day for a variety of reasons. Follow because Castlevania and Minecraft, welcome on in. And while you're here, you can enter in to win a PlayStation 5 just by uh, lurking in the chat and being around. So thank you for following. Your nose is still so pink. Is that a Rudolph joke? What do I look like, a reindeer to you? I wasn't schloopy doopy. I was tiredy wiredy. Tiredy wiredy. <laughs> Alyssa's gifting out a tier one sub to somebody who just followed because of the Castlevania music. Thank you very much, Alyssa. <clears throat> what is the challenge building a cartoon character? I built Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Lots of people are building your favorite Pikachu. We got a... Where's the Pikachu? There's another Pikachu. Where'd it go? There's a giant Pikachu. Where'd it go? Wh who got rid of the giant Pikachu? Y'all made Alyssa very sad. There's a giant Pikachu outline somewhere, and then it disappeared. It was literally right over here. Oh, they switched it for a different one. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes. There's a giant Pikachu. There was an outline of the full, the full body, and then it switched to that one. Okay, okay. Yeah, everybody's looking pretty good. That was absolutely very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, Alyssa is very kind when she decides not to be a troll. So it's it's rare. Actually, no, it's more common. It's more common than it is uncommon, man. She's great. Your community is very wholesome. Stop it, Alyssa. Stop it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, McDuck, go ahead. Uh, now I got to decide what other cartoon character I want to do. Gonna swap to the other side here. Ooh, that one would be very difficult to do. Oh, ooh, hmm, hmm. So I did a classic. Should I do? Should I do another classic or should I do a more uh, up to date cartoon? Uh, Super Mario Star says, "Was there a stream tonight?"
So the reason there's so many ads, by the way, is so people don't get pre-roll ads when they get in here. There are a few kids breaking blocks on my build. Who are they? I am bored. You don't know who would stop it. Y'all, y'all behave, all right? Y'all behave. You should make Squidward. Why should I make Squidward? Everybody just behave, all right? How's that? Ooh, ooh, I know who I'm gonna make. I know who I'm gonna make. Secret stream, eh? That's just to get you in the building, maniac for bricks. What's going on, Joey? Uh, lime green, lime green, lime green. Worked indeed, doing a good job, just had dinner. Wish Squidward was my boyfriend. You could, you could find a curmudgeon, Alyssa. Just get someone that like hates themselves and life. Ooh, okay. Okay. Does anybody want to guess based on this color scheme right here? Anybody want to guess? <laughs> Eli. Uh, before I forgot, at some point, you got to pick out your favorite pit bull. <coughs> Alyssa got it. It's Reptar. You can read my mind, lady. Nice job. You got it. Bricks nine bomb pocket. Bomb pocket. Thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for the prime time sub. You get access to all sorts of spicy emotes across Twitch, including the bomb pocket emote. You can get yourself the Bob Pocket limited edition sticker off of Mr. Kevin Hinkle's website. Exclamation mark hot to get yourself one of those. I'm going to make a Reptar. Hot pockets. When is the micro freezer unboxing happening? So I'm assuming after I'm back from Rhode Island Comic Con, Alyssa. That's what I'm what I'm banking on. Uh, let me adjust something real quick here. So I'm not. Okay, so I'm right here. B. That's not what I want. Hold on. How do I do what I want to do? B. Uh, no. Wait, what? How do I do? B. I don't know how I want to do what I want to do. B. I guess I'll just do this for now. B. No, never mind. Whatever. Can I get a B on Brian's face? I'll, I'll leave it wide open for you, Alyssa. Wide open. B. 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 Hey, you got one. B. B. Somebody got one. B. B. Somebody got it. B. B. Now, 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 can you land? Can you land a wee on my face? Anybody wee on my face? It's me, Mario. Direct shot, come on. That's a good one there. You got the wee and the bee. Y'all got the wee and the bee, the double double, nice. Wee and a bee. Wee. You landed the weeb. Weeb. Weeby. You got it. Weeby. Oh, man. If there's anything I don't identify with, it's that. But hey, that's fine. Oh! Can we get some tuna bros in the chat? Big tuna's here. Hello, sir. Weebs. Any weebs in the chat? Stop it. Oh, man. That's 
That's a tune. Oh, man. That's a tune. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a tune. That's a tune. That's a tune. The echo. The echo is my favorite part. Weeb here, Levi. Levi is my husbando. Oh, man. That's a tune, bro. What? Oh, man. That's a tuna, bro. All right. Pike Place got nothing on these tunas, bro. What's going on, tuna? How you doing, man? You know, Brian isn't a weeb when he can't say who's bando. Let me, let me, let me say it a, a bit more sultry. Hold on. Who's bando? Who's bando? Who's bando? Who's bando? <laughs> I hate this. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you hate it. That means you like it. Bye. Bye. Driving women away since 1998. Yikes. How much time is left on the challenge? I don't know. Actually, since 1996, not 98. Oh. Brian, stop it. It's Japanese, so no? Okay. Uh... Wow, I said I drove Alyssa away and she instead gifted five subs. Thank you very much, Alyssa, for the five gift subs. Those are going out to Degal, Apache Power, Swanee, Landon Arts, and All Elite Racing. Thank you very much, Alyssa, for the five gifted subs. You know, you never have to do that. It is never, ever expected nor required, but it is greatly appreciated. If you're here lurking in the chat, please say thank you to Alyssa, the new queen of the weebs. For the gifted subscription, you can use those emotes all across the uh, the Twitch averse, including right here. The Bob Pocket emote and much more available. Have a great week, chat. See that Alyssa, now she's gone. Now she goes off into the night with her Uzbando. It's all right. It's all right. Are you doing pixel art? Uh, we're doing cartoon characters, so technically, yes, we are. Thank you for stopping in. Bye, Alyssa. I'd, I'd say I'd see you at Rhode Island Comic Con, but we all know that's not going to happen. So see you around. Um, yeah. Make sure it's who did this. Was this intentional? This uh, uh, water thing here. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Big <laughs> Oh man! That's a tuna! That's a tuna, bro! With the 10 gifted! Oh man! Had me choking on air, tuna, big tuna. Bro. Those 10 gifted subs are going out to Midnight Gamer, Floral, Switch oh, Chronicles, man. Clam That's Pasta, tuna, King Boo Game. Uh, Sergio, Soy oh, Sauce man. Bunny, That's Alyssa, tuna, Score Bunny, bro. and Maniac for Bricks. If you're here in the chat, please, please drop a big fat honking tuna for its big tuna. <laughs> Bring in the hype and excitement as always. So if it happens to go into, um, oh, man. I don't think That's we're near tuna, hype train territory, bro. but oh, yeah, man. hype trains equal That's more tuna, bub bucks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, big tuna, for the gifted subscription, oh, sir. Man. Slapping it down on the table. We need more tunas in this. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second here. You people, that's not what we do when Big Tuna enters the chat. What we do is we slap down the tuna. Oh my goodness. Slap the tuna down on the table. Slap. I need every oh single man. person that's in this oh live man. stream chat. That's, oh that's what I'm talking about. Slap it down. Slap it. Harder. Slap it harder. Local Brick Shop, oh, Mr. AJP, oh, LA Lightly, oh, Iron Board, oh, Wayne Lewis, oh, oh, Luca, oh, Superman, oh, Blockbuster. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Mercy Narks, thank you very much. Tuna for the, I don't know how many gifted subs, but the gifted subs. Thank you, sir. That, that's a lot of tunas, bro. Oh, man. That's, a tuna. that's a lot of tunas. Oh, man. That's a lot of tunas. Oh, man. 
Yeah, Amish Ace is driving everyone. and he's like, I can't stand these tunas. Oh man, that's a tuna. Bro. Why is he telling me I can't do oh, tuna, bro? Man. It's probably because you ran out of channel bro. points. You gotta have you gotta have the appropriate amount of channel oh, points. Oh man, that's a tuna, Stop bro. It. I needed to let Hot Pockets know I'm the champion around here, not them. You know what's funny? Is Big D performance said the same thing, which is why he gifted 25 last night. Stop it. He's like, I can't, I'm, I can't live with myself knowing Hot Pockets beat me. So he gifted 25. So you know, you're not the only one that has shared that sentiment. Although I, don't, I can't encourage it because that would be greedy. But you know, much appreciated for the support, sir. I don't know why, why you have to do it, man. But thank you. Oh man, that's a tuna, bro. All those gifted subs, obviously, get more people access into the emotes that we feature here on the channel and uh, involved in what we're doing here. It helps support me financially. I'm not going to have room oh, for Reptar, actually. That's a tuna, bro. Um, so thank you, Big Tuna, for all that you're doing. You, are, you already know the drill. I feel like I... <coughs> Like, I feel like I don't need to say thank you, but I do, you know? You already know what I'm going to say, right? Brian got a little intent. That got a little intense, I'm not going to lie. The tuna overload, it's like it's like all the tunas jumping on the boat, and you just got enough tuna. We, we, we served up enough tuna. Uh, we served up enough tuna in here. So now, as a fisherman out of Gloucester, you can finally go back home to the port where your wife doesn't think that you passed away at sea and you got enough tuna on the boat that your estranged daughter has changed her mind about how she feels about you because now you're raking in the money right tuna now you have the money right so now she's like oh dad i actually like you right it's one of those you know it's a complicated relationship over there being a, a fisherman you're away at sea a lot of the time you don't know what you're going to bring back. It, it could either be a really great thing or it could be a bust. But with the amount of tunas that flopped up onto the onto the boat, now the familial balance has been restored. You know what I mean? That's what happened. That's that's what happened. We, we got enough tunas that your estranged daughter will come back, which has no implications on your real family, by the way. We're going to sing, Brian, draft a full life story of a person lying. <laughs> I love doing that, Kevin. I am a writer, by the way. I'm a writer. Right, see, exactly. Exactly. Sounds like the unofficial Castaway sequel. Exactly. Oh, Hot Pocket Harry's got something for me. Excuse me. What do we got here, man? What do we got? Uh-oh. Brian Saviano. Brian, since uh, having your chat we and be on your face on stream, we'll be pulling our Hot Pockets backing on your content the, fr <laughs> the fridge the fridge has been frozen in shipping and the year's supply of hot pockets have been revoked sincerely the hot pocket team that's because you weed and beat all over my face chat that's that's what that happened um and now here we have a shredded hot pockets contract <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. The saga continues. So I can, you know, I can thank Alyssa. Dude, you know what an awesome message is going to be? I'm going to send later. I'm going to send her a message and be like, it's your fault my Hot Pockets contract got expired. Because she encouraged the we and the B. So I could say... It's your fault that Hot Pockets. I shit. I think she. I... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> She'd be like Brian. I'll give you as many Hot Pockets as you want. I am so sorry. Oh man, that's great. That's great. No, Henry. No. 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 Or you can try, right? Can you try? Oh, man. 
Is this not claimed? Try breaking this. Is it not claimed? Oh! I guess it's not claimed. Oh. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, let's see. So, okay. By this point here, uh, I'm going to go through some of the builds and uh, figure it out from there. See, now all the kids are like, wait, we can get inside here. Oh, uh, we can get inside here. Yay. Great. Awesome. So, uh, I guess... Um, and count blah blah blah. Make sure that you you tell me who is breaking your build. Put their username in the chat. No, frog, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. That is my mistake. It should have been it should have been fixed. All right, so here's how it works everybody. All you kids are like, "Oh, we're looking at Brian's stuff." All right. So, if you want me to look at your build, the only way I'm going to look at your build is if you're standing on this spot right here okay this is a policy we have on these minecraft streams to keep the peace so if you have built something tonight uh you need to stand exactly in this spot right here in order to have your build showcased by me if you are not in that spot on your given area then i will not look at your build i will just move on from it if you're still working on your build that is okay i can circle back around to it if you are in your given area but until then I'm going to look at people who are standing where they need to stand and show them on camera right here. So that's how that's going to go. Sound good? Wonderful. Can you come back to mine? I'm not finished yet. Yeah, so you can continue building. That's okay. You don't need to be done right this second, but I'm going to feature the people who are done and ready, including my stuff over here, all right? And then we're going to take a look at the Halloween building challenges uh, in a moment here. All right, so I built Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory as my favorite cartoon. Nope, that's not it. So I <coughs> Can best build get 50 tickets? No, <clears throat> that's not how that works. So as part of my build today, I made Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, one of the cartoons that I watched as a kid growing up on Cartoon Network. From a particular era of Cartoon Network in general. I tried starting on Reptar over here, but things got a little bit crazy. My Hot Pockets contract got rescinded in real time. I'm not able to make Reptar, but that's okay. So now Dexter is here in all of his glory overlooking the other wonderful builds. We'll be showcasing here in just a moment. Dang, we got all this. All right. So let's see who's ready to showcase their build. I'm going to start over toward this way. Remember, you need to stand on this black spot on your building platform along with the name of your build. All right. No, hot po that did not happen with Hot Pockets. That did not happen. That's a joke. It's a joke. It did not happen. All right. <clears throat> All right. So by Minecraft Mice and we have Jimmy Neutron, a very... That is so good. He kind of looks like a flattened banana. Spe spe speechless. He kind of looks like a flattened banana. Um, great job. Great beep, job beep, on beep, this. Beep, is, that, is, that, is that Diddy Kong? It is Jimmy Neutron. That's my son. Soy Sauce Bunny, your son is a gem and you should be very proud very proud let's take a look at our next build jimmy neutron's gonna give me nightmares next build is by microfage we have cartoon party please read the book well books are not typically part of what we do here anymore but because you asked sure did I just remove the book? Just kidding. I killed the book. The book is super dead. Yep, I killed the book. Whoops. But we have, uh, I like chocolate milk. This is from uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. This is from, this is, oh, who is this? Who is this? Uh, this is uh, Mac. 
No, this is cheese. This is cheese from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Nice. Nice. This is Meta Knight, obviously from Kirby. Say what again? From Kirby's uh, Adventure, of course. We have Perry the Platypus, which is a great Perry, by the way. He semi-aquatic egg laying mammal, egg laying mammal of action. Yes, indeed. Make sure you get a get to fix this here. There we go. And then also we have not cuddles the hedgehog. <laughs> I forget who this is from uh, from Sonic, one of the uh, side characters here. But nice job, Lindsay, on all these. My favorite has to be Meta Knight. I like the Meta Knight the most. Espio from Sonic the Hedgehog series. Nice job on Meta Knight. Great stuff. Let's take a look here. Next up for the build, we have Van. Uh, cartoon characters by Van. Uh, this is uh, from Calvin and Hobbes. Wonderful pixel art here. We have Garfield, a power-up mushroom of some kind, and Scooby-Doo, some retro ones here, man. Good stuff. Love love the Calvin. And I didn't think anybody would do Calvin and Hobbes in any way, but that's, that's fantastic. Nice job. And Scooby-Doo. Those are my two standout favorites. Nice job over there. Uh, we got one that's not done quite over here. Uh, Herobrine doesn't watch cartoons. Only you and some other gamers. Well, someone needs to have a little bit more prosperous childhood here. Press to wine. Okay. Well, there we go. There's that. Sure. Uh, next up. What do we got? That was a Smurf. Oh, it's a Smurf. Oh, kind of. Kind of a little bit. Next up, we have Block Hen, uh, Pokemon Starters plus Pikachu, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu. Nice job on the little itty bitty pixel art there from uh, from Pokemon. Love how you did these. Very colorful, very cool. Uh, this one isn't done quite yet. <clears throat> you see the Smurf? Gotcha. Okay, so I'm just I'm just slacking. I see how it is. Samuel has made Mickey Mouse. I love the way this Mickey Mouse came out, man. Interesting choice choosing the lanterns right here, the floating lanterns for the eyes. But I love the way the Mickey Mouse was designed, uh, especially using the wood planks for the texture on the skin there. Pro gamer tip like I did, you could use a terracotta to get flesh tones. Works out pretty well there, but nice job on that. Rice pudding has uh, the pixel art. Uh, thick though, that was a miscalculation from... Co oh, here's my attempt at Pikachu. His head is a little bit messed up, but that's okay. Big-brained Pikachu with water falling down all across it. Nice job. I don't, again, I don't know why the water is here, but as long as it's intentional, I guess it's fine. So, yeah. He's zapping the water, he says. Ah. Okay. Uh, over here, the richest duck in the world. I wonder who made it. It's a Lego McQuack. He's making Scrooge McDuck, as seen from his profile picture, over in the, the, the court of dis... Unfortunately, you can't see him in the chat here because uh, he's banned, but he decided to do that himself. Nice job, Lego McDuck. All right. In terms of who else is done over here, we have Manser. Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus. Built at an angle, which is especially tough to do. Nice job on Perry in both detective and uh, mammalian form. Good stuff here, man. Uh, again, not as big a fan of uh, Phineas and Ferb, but I know how... How passionate the fans are for you know henry is here homer simpson and a pokeball nice job on both of these loving the homer tribute got some simpsons love over here beautiful beautiful uh this is an interesting one over here we have from uh la whiteley uh totally the real brian here uh toothless from how to train your dragon it is also is an animated tv show so that's awesome like a like a salamander very flat very cool like this Good job on uh, how to train your dragon here. Is this this a hot? Is this hot pocket Harry? Uh, this is Rick asked hot pocket Rick. Hot pockets themselves created by E Logger. So it's Rick Astley endorsing hot pockets. Wonderful, nice job, Eli. You're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Hello, the world that once been going on. Anime fan. Anime fan made a bingo from Bluey. Bluey, a cartoon series that I know a lot of adults appreciate, as well as kids. So I haven't actually seen Bluey, but I know it's super popular. Anytime I go into Target, I see all the toys. So nice job on this. It's very 3D. Very like Bricks O'Brien 
inspired kind of art style with the with the um the ears and whatnot. That wasn't intentional with Cecilia to make the ears the same way as these characters, but you know, you can see it. We also have uh, a very similar sort of uh Missingno, Squirtle, Charmander, uh Pokeball situation happening from Frog Koo over here. Uh who's that Pokemon? What were the first three starters in Pokemon? Bulbasaur is up next. Bulbasaur would be the next one in the lineage, but nice job on these. Love the angle for Charmander there, especially. Chris loves Sonic. This is Sonic with the gold, emerald eyes. Not gold, emerald eyes. Nice job. I like the touch of the ring on the side here and the shoes using the gold for the belt buckles there. Excellent job. From Keller Ryan, we have uh, Shot Dr. D. Okay, so that's... Um, from also from Phineas and Ferb. Love the pixel art here. It, it looks like very chibi. Very cool. Nice job. Clearly we have a uh, a Shadow the Hedgehog being worked on over here. There, This must be a... Real quick, we actually can't see. We got a, a slight SpongeBob uh, thing happening over here. Uh, this one, I don't know who this was by, but I want to at least shout it out real quick. This is the inner workings of Bikini Bottom over here being worked on still. Over here, we have Sonic and the Chaos Emeralds. This is done by uh, Blue Bolt. Hello. There's Chase, obviously showing his love for Sonic the Hedgehog and all those Chaos Emeralds. Like how each of the Chaos Emeralds are represented, as well as Sonic himself. Nice job on that one, Chase. Showing your love for Sonic, as always. And now we have Finn and Jake from I Am Bored, obviously from Adventure Time. Only Adventure Time showcase here, but that's okay. Um, they're very bulky. But nice job, especially like on the backpack, adding the 3D elements to kind of flat-ish characters is not easy, but you successfully did it here. There's obviously still some people working on stuff. Um, we have a couple over here that I may have missed. Let me make sure I get to these real quick. This is by King Boo Nate. We want to leave you out here. Woody Woodpecker, the Roadrunner, and Coyote. Wow, Wiley Coyote. What a fantastic assortment of characters. Bart Simpson, Woody Woodpecker, Cuphead. Wow. Good stuff, man. Love to see all the retro cartoon characters here. Love what you did here, Nate. Excellent job, man. As well as over here, we have uh, JJ Doucette. This is uh, Leonardo the Turtle from the uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. I love the wood planks, and especially the way you did the, the swords there. Good stuff. We have a minion that was a work in progress. And all uh, much more. So people are still uh, working on their builds. That's totally okay. Um, you are free to build as much as you want to here. He's building John just looks like we have a Powerpuff girl being worked on, which is awesome. Uh, my favorite build of the night, man, that Jimmy Neutron is something special. That's a, that's a special one right there. Uh, we also have a Phineas, by the way, I don't want to make sure I skip over this from AJP, uh, Phineas looking awesome with the, the eyes are a little terrible attempt. At it's not terrible. It's just. It's very built. It's very built. Um, the award for like throwing back to retro cartoons has to be this one over here from King Boo, man. Wiley Coyote, Roadrunner, Woody Woodpecker. Woody Woodpecker, man. That's a throwback. Homer, Bart, and Cuphead. All these are excellent. So retro throwback goes to King Boo. Nice job. Uh, my favorite one in terms of like the complexity or whatnot. Because it's one thing to do pixel art, not to call it like a McDuck here, right? Not to call out McDuck. But to do Phineas at an angle like this is very imp I'm sorry, not Phineas. To do Perry the Platypus at this angle like this is incredible. So I give a lot of effort to this one right here, man. This Perry the Platypus is excellent. Mom says it's my turn to play. This is by Manser. So nice job, Manser. I like this one the most.